Are you poor? These days, our economy is just in shambles. We can't buy basic things as human beings. Food, shelter, water, FNAF toys. <laughs> I can't even go in Walmart and find a, a Freddy Fazbear. Like, it's ridiculous. Look, she she agrees. We simply cannot have the things that we basically need as humans to survive. Like, come on, if I can't have Freddy Fazbear, then what's the point? So when people can't find the things that they need, where do they turn to? Well, cheaper alternatives. Fantastic nationwide stores such as Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Family Dollar. No a lot of dollars. But you know what doesn't have dollars? Five below. Now you're probably wondering yourself, what is Five Below? Five Below Incorporated is an American chain of specialty discount stores that price most of its products at five dollars or less plus a smaller sum in approximately. But wait, you mean to tell me that not everything in this store is under five dollars? So if we're getting on our little bargain bin FNAF adventure. We should probably get a drink first. Here we are. Let's just crack open a cold one. Ugh. Ugh. Now I'm sticky. Alright. First item. Blanket. I'm sure there's many different FNAF blankets on the market, but this one... This one's $5. You got a little, uh, perfect graphic of Freddy Fazbear just plastered all over checkers, I, I guess. I don't... I don't know why that's a thing. Alright, we're gonna just... Freddy Five Bear. I... it's... Oh, it's strung together. I gotta... I feel more comfortable already. This blanket is terrible. Like, it's really not even that big. It's like the size of a small towel. It's just covered in like weirdly printed pictures of Freddy's face. The print quality is just absolutely horrible on this thing. I mean, like... Come on, he... He, he speaks for himself, really. I mean, that's just... Look, look at him. He, he, he's seen some terrible, terrible things. Maybe this would have been, like, alright if it was just a normal checkered blanket, but it, it doesn't even have the decency to be that. You got Freddy's ugly mug slapped all over this entire thing. I mean, at least it's soft. But, like, you can also buy some fabric for much cheaper. Like, look at the difference in print quality and how much sharper it is on this side as opposed to this one. Like, it's kind of pathetic. Actually, I liked it blurrier. Well, that was a FNAF blanket. Posters! Posters are inexpensive. You can decorate your walls with them, throw them up everywhere, you know, just... Bleh, posters. And, you know, uh, we these posters come courtesy of Trends International, you know? I I guess they make posters and trends. Aha! All right, we have, um... Yeah, I don't think that... That game does doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I mean, we got a FNAF AR poster. I mean, it's... It's fine, but this game's dead. Yeah, I can't play this one anymore. It, the the down, download don't work. But I mean, yeah, I mean, that's decent print quality. I mean, you got you got all your faves there. I mean, you got Freddy and, and Plush Trap and, and... 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 Radioactive Foxy. I like that one. Also, Magician Mangle and... and... Lib... Oh, okay. Liberty Chica. This... yeah. That poster's pretty cool. I'll... I'll lay him up here. We can... we can decorate the walls here. We're gonna decorate our beautiful couch. All right, there's that. You think I'm done? Come on, the poster world is vast. So many different pieces of wall decor and art that you can put on your wall, especially spanning the ever-expansive series of Five Nights at Freddy's. It's it's another it's another Fnafr poster. Okay, I what was what's the appeal of this one? You've got him covering up most of the text in the back. Five Nights for. Uh, thank God they have the trademark in there. I mean, I guess I can kind of see the appeal of this one. It's just kind of a poster of Freddy, but... Again, dead game. Hopefully this one's a little bit better. Poster 3. Hey, it's upside down. Okay, here's a poster from Help Wanted 2. I mean, yeah, that's... That's a poster, all right. It seems to be of the game's cover art, which is a lot of just reused renders, but I mean, hey, it, lo it looks good at least. Pretty solid, not bad, you know, I, I'd stick this on my wall, maybe even frame it, you know, maybe I can pretend there's a TV on the wall, it's, it's just paper and frame. And it's upside down again. Okay, this is an in-game screenshot, I think. But hey, at least the art's cute. 
I do like this one. This one's nice. It's like of the Mega Pizza Plex sign. It kind of sucks it's cut off on the sides, but I mean, th yeah, that's that's about what I expect from this franchise at this point. Yeah, it's a pretty good one. Not not nothing really to complain about there. All right, last but not least, we have one more poster: the King of the Cream, the Cream de la Crop. The the it cannot get possibly any better than this next one. Oh. Shit so ass. I gotta ask what went wrong here. This is like a bunch of in-game screenshots cropped around. Why why would you buy this? I mean, yeah, this is certainly a poster of FNAF. I mean, yeah, it's Okay, so maybe posters aren't your thing, but there's also other options. Like action figures. We all love action figures and that that's not five below that that's that says walmart guys something tells me that that's not only at walmart i can't lie there was plenty of these with this exact sticker like they all had the only at walmart sticker god knows how that happened but yeah i suppose the walmart not exclusive tie-dye freddy figure let's I feel almost sorry for him what doomed him was he supposed to be at walmart did Walmart reject tie-dye? Actually, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, you need some of that ASMR right in the microphone. Ah! All right, we're gonna, we're gonna build him. Just like how God intended. I can't get the microphone in his hand. I mean, yeah, there's, there's Freddy. Uh, it's, a uh, hollow. Um, he's pink. That's pretty cool. Uh, he can do a little dance. Yeah, I mean that, that's the best I got. These these things kind of suck. Anyway, um, next thing we got we we can salvage this. All right, listen, that may not have been great. You got some po posters and and a, a tie dye, Freddy. It's not tie dye. It's painted. Look, this next thing will save it because this is actually from a Five Nights at Freddy's game, unlike what I just opened. FNAF race cars. These are from 2018. Well, Five Laps at Freddy's is getting a demo soon, so logically speaking, this is actually from a FNAF game now, so you can't tell them that that's not, because it, it is. I'm trying, man. I don't know why these randomly got re-released in Five Below, because these are from like five years ago, so I didn't know they were $5, though, so... Hey, I mean, the only ones they had were Freddy, Foxy, and Chica. They did not have any of the cool ones, like the Cupcake, or like Ennard, or like Lolbit, or like the Marionette, or like Fredbear. That's all the other ones. But, you know, they could have at least done something for me. Like, come on, guys. It, it's FNAF race cars. I mean, I don't know what you're expecting. This is, again, another one of those obligatory things where Funko pretends like they're making a whole new line for something. Like, they call them Funko Racers, or Funko Snaps. And then they only do it with FNAF because... They're really hoping that the kitties will buy anything that they make. I did that. A lot, actually. Probably too much. Alright, so here is Chica Car. It's actually, uh, kind of nice. I mean, it's a it's a nice little build, you know? I mean, the wheels do in fast turn, so, you know, if you want some of that in your life, you can see her kind of hunching out of the little cake car. I really like that they, like, made it an actual slice of cake. I mean, the paint's good. It's a little die-cast. I mean, it's, this isn't exactly the greatest surface to do this on, but, you know... It does, in fact, broom. It's a solid little car. And now we got the other two guys. All right, so next up is Toy Freddy. And actually, he's pretty good, too. I mean, uh, the, the shape is kind of funny. He just has this big microphone in the back. Ah, you know, we got two microphones. You got the feedback in your ears. He's a solid little guy. He's, he's die-cast metal. He looks cute. I mean, yeah, I, I do find it funny how from a certain angle, you can just see their long, like, torsos. It's it's really funny, but they're cute. I mean, these, these are... And now we have Foxy. Probably easily the one that makes the most sense considering he's in a pirate ship. Here's Foxy, the last one of the three, and he looks pretty good too. And again, it's just a little die-cast pirate ship. He got the skull and crossbones. He got Foxy, he's looking cute. Chilling in his little car. They're all very FNAF World style. They're very cute. Honestly, I kind of wish I could get the full set, but they're not selling the other ones in Five Below. You know, Funko, if you got some spare stock of the rest of them, then like, please, because I kind of want them, honestly. They're decent little die-cast cars, and now we can make them race! Alright, everyone, I want a good, clean race. No fighting. Alright, ready, set, go! 
Yeah, like I said, this isn't the best service to do this on. Wow, the first thing actually kind of a value, you know, decent little $5 race cars. You know, you can you can race those. That's, that's a thing you can do. All right, we're making it off pretty good, but what about pizza? Find it at Freddy's. I'll be honest, this is just a, just a normal pizza. This isn't actually FNAF branded, but I mean, it's still gummy pizza. They sell an actual FNAF gummy pizza, but it's kind of like like $15 and that's that's uh, that's a bit out of our budget. That went on the ground. Five second rule. It had a protective film on it. We're good, guys. All right, so you know you got you got your traditional pizza toppings, you know you, you got you got some eggs and some uh, worms and some uh, the pizza slices and the, some of the normal pizza that's in the inside of that and some gummy bears. I'm Okay, we got it open. I mean Let's dig in, I guess. It's like 35 barrel oil one thing. It's actually kind of good. I can't even lie. It's just tasty and sugar. I'm proud I did that whole bit and I didn't drop any on the ground. How many calories is this? Too many. So you've had your pizza. You've had your soda. By the way, this is Chica Fizzy Faz. This didn't come from Five Below. This came from FYE, but I need an excuse to buy it because I like Glen Rock Chica. And that is just more sugar on top of the sugar eight. Oh boy, what better to follow up with a bunch of sugar is random chance. Don't you just love gambling? I love gambling. I'm an addict. I, I, I don't like that anymore. I love buying blind boxes. I love not knowing what product I'm going to get. It's my favorite pastime. So I just got, there's there's a lot of blind boxes. I got like three different random assortments of blind boxes. We're going to, we're going to open them all. There, there they all are. I think we're going to start with uh, the FNAF Tsunamis. Tsunamis. I hope I'm not butchering that. I don't know what these are. They look like little keychains. We're going to we're gonna open these. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Um. Did I stumble upon an alien egg? Oh. She's, um. She's beautiful. Doctor. So we have this like really oddly game accurate eclipse or sun and moon, I think. One side is sun, one side is moon. It's filled with a viscous red liquid and little glitter stars. I don't think I want to put these on my keys. I mean, I could theoretically, but yeah, that that certainly was that. I I got two of these. See who the other one is. Oh, it's Glamrock Freddy. Oh, I don't like how you unveil them. Oh God. He's, um, he's beautiful, Doctor. He looks like he's holding in a shit, I can't lie. Certainly a, um, a little creature. Okay, well that was that. Funko Pops! I love Funko Pops! I, 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 I can't say that. I bought, like, way too many of them in my heyday. Um, listen, I was 13. I think I'm allowed to say that as an excuse. People do that for way worse things, I'll be honest. But hey, I mean, we we got, if you want some Funko Pops, but tiny, then they got Vinny Pops. I don't know, there's there's Five Nights at Freddy's ones. I got like three of them. We're, we're gonna open them, I guess. Uh, but here's the, fr oh, it's Freddy. We got Freddy. Here's here's the Fazbear. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a Funko Pop of Freddy, Freddy Fazbear. So, you know, I mean, about exactly what you'd expect. Let's open another one. Oh boy, I love gambling. Uh, Bonnie, <laughs> well, I mean that, yeah, that tracks. Thank God I finally have smaller versions of the Funko Pops that I already own. Wait, hold on, this might make them peak. Can I stack them? Like, actually stack them? No. I thought it was gonna be cool. Alright, let's open the last one. Hopefully we get something good. <laughs> Maybe like a rare one or something, and it's Bonnie again. Oh, dang it. Freddy Funko, you've forsaken me! All right, well, listen, the, 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 these may have been kind of shit, frankly, but hey, listen, we've got one more thing. You love, come on, you clicked on a YouTube channel called Travis Plush Productions. You know you love plushies. And I got five of these little, uh, you know, $5 plushie keychain blind boxes. Woo! Listen, this is going to save the run. This is going to save our FNAF bargain bin adventure. Uh, come on. Just Toys made these. I mean, Just Toys has made iconic products such as... And... So, I mean... They're pretty good, I guess. Ah, okay. We got the first one. It's Roxanne! And oh my god, she looks like a baby. I can't even really describe how I feel about this. 
The back of it feels like dog hair and the front of it looks like a Rugrats character. Yeah, I can't really give this a whole lot of props, but it certainly is trying to be something. Again, guys, I don't I don't know if I'd put this on my keychain. Now, Glamrock Chica, on the other hand, I would put that on my keychain. It's not weird, by the way. I just like her. All right, we got another, there's another Roxanne. This one looks even more like a baby. Why is it, where did her neck go? Her neck has disappeared. She's like, she's like a little, like, I mean, yeah, I have two of them. I have twins. I I gave birth to twins. I don't know what to do anymore. My family abandoned me and I don't have a, there's no significant father figure in my life to be able to take care of them. It's Ch Tasha and, and Ch Sarah and they're not, they, they cannot survive the winter. Why would you do this to them? We're gonna open the third one. It's gonna be, gonna be Danny old Dandy. We're opening this one. Let's see what we get. Are you kidding me? Triplets? God, I can't deal with triplets. Oh God, oh, it's so over. The might as well dead it all. Or I can keep gambling. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Let's hope we don't have quadruplets now. Hey, it's the sun. I think this one's actually kind of rare. Isn't, isn't there like rares on this? Yeah, there's there's two mystery ones. Like it's, we got sun and he also looks, he looks like he'd be on the back of a planter's can. You know, like the peanuts? I think he'd be on the back of a peanuts can. Man, I was really hoping we were gonna get three of the same one. <laughs> it can't get much worse than this, right? Please. Hey, it's Freddy and oh my god. Me too, bud. Um, he looks like he's drooling. Uh, he is another baby creature. Didn't they not look better on the box? Yeah, the art is really misleading. I mean, like, he just has none of the red detailing that the box claims he has, and he's also... His hat's not even a hat. It's like a... like a... like a tube. Well, congratulations, ma'am. It's a gambling addiction. Does, uh, does anyone that has Chica or Monty want to trade me? I, I don't want these. Imagine if, like, really adopting a child, you could just say, I don't want this one, can someone trade me? Uh, you can get the no neck one, I- <laughs> So, look. Clearly you now understand the wonders of the Five Nights at Freddy's bargain bin world. You can go to Five Below yourself and get the exact same experience I did for- about a hundred dollars. I mean, I'd say it was worth it. So, dear viewer, what did you and I, equally, us together, on this adventure, learn about ourselves and about the world? I love capitalism.